Hello, how to solve for x and y in this equation x squared minus y squared is equal to 50 where x and y are member of natural number. Solution. Then we have x squared minus y squared is equal to 50. This is in the form of perfect square. Take note of this that if you have a square minus b square, this is equal to a plus b bracket a minus b. Then where a is equal to x and b is equal to y. This can be written as s plus y bracket s minus y is equal to 50 and from here s and y are member of natural number so here s plus y is greater than s minus y therefore this is greater than this then we have x plus y is greater than s minus y. This is equal to 50. We need to look for the product of this 50. 50 is the product of 50 multiplied by 1. Then 1 multiplied by 50. We have 25 multiplied by 2, then 2 multiplied by 25, and we also have 10 multiplied by 5, and then 5 multiplied by 10. But here we say s plus y is greater than s minus y. 50 is greater than 1. This is true. 1 is less than 50. This is rejected. 25 is greater than 2. This is accepted. 2 is less than 25. This is rejected. And 10 is greater than 5. This is accepted. 5 is less than 10. This is rejected. We have how many cases? 1, 2, 3. Now, therefore, our equation become the first case we have s plus y bracket s minus y is equal to this 50 multiplied by 1 and since this s plus y is greater than s minus y s plus y will take 50 and s minus y will take 1 so here we have s plus y is equal to 50 this is equation 1. Then, and here, S minus Y is equal to 1. This is equation 2. Also, from the second case, we have S plus Y bracket S minus Y is equal to, we have 25 multiplied by 2. And this goes to this, and this goes to this. And S plus Y is equal to 25. This is equation 1. And X minus Y is equal to 2. This is equation 2. Now let's consider the third case. From the third case, s plus y bracket s minus y is equal to this is 10 multiplied by 5. This goes to this and this goes to this. 
then the equation become s plus y is equal to 10 this is equation 1 s minus y is equal to 5 this is equation 2 now we can solve all these equations simultaneously using elimination method because these are simultaneous equations from the third second and then fourth case then from the first case we have x plus y is equal to 50 then s minus y is equal to 1 we want to know whether this equation is going to give us a natural number or not so this is our simultaneous equation let's add the two equations together using the elimination method s plus x this is 2s plus y minus y this we cancel is equal to 50 plus 1 this is 51 let's divide both side by 2 divided by 2 because we are looking for the value of x this we cancel this s is equal to 51 over 2 or 25 or number 1 over 2 Then we've gotten the value of s let's solve for y but here we can see that this is not a natural number therefore this is rejected to solve for y let's use either equation 1 or equation 2 but i'm going to make use of this equation 2 f s minus y is equal to 1 when s is 51 over 2 we have 51 over 2 minus y is equal to 1 let's multiply all through by 2 51 minus 2y is equal to 2 then minus 2y is equal to 2 minus 51 minus 2y is equal to 2 minus 51 that is minus 49 then y is equal to 49 over 2 or 24 or number 1 over 2 this is the value of y and of course this is not a natural number it is also rejected now let's consider the second case from the second case we have x plus y is equal to 25 x minus y is equal to 2 this is simultaneous equation let's solve this using elimination method s plus s this is 2 s this will cancel this is equal to 25 plus 2 that is 27 then we can divide both side by 2 this divided by 2 this divided by 2 this will cancel this s is equal to 27 over 2 and of course this is not a natural number it is rejected Now we've gotten the value of s let's solve for y to solve for y let's make use of this equation 2 again s minus y is equal to 2 when s is 27 over 2 we have 27 over 2 minus y is equal to 2 then if you multiply all through by 2 we have 27 minus 2y is equal to 4 then here we have minus 2y is equal to 4 minus 
27 then minus 2 y is equal to minus 23 therefore y is equal to 23 over 2 and of course this is not a natural number again this is rejected now let's consider the third case from the third case we have the equation s plus y is equal to 10 equation 1 then x minus y is equal to 5 this is equation 2 now let's solve this using elimination method by adding the two equations together s plus s this is 2 s this we cancel this is equal to 10 plus 5 that is 15 if you divide both sides by 2 divided by 2 this we cancel this s is equal to 15 over 2 and this is not a natural number it is also rejected now we've got the value of s let's solve for y using either equation 1 or 2 but let me make use of this equation 1 from equation 1 s plus y is equal to 10 that is to solve for y then when s is 15 over 2 we have 15 over 2 plus y is equal to 10 then let's multiply all through by 2 we have 15 plus 2y is equal to 20 2y is equal to 20 minus 15 now 2y is equal to 20 minus 15 this is 5 then y is equal to 5 over 2 and this is not a natural number also it is also rejected then the value of s and y are s comma y from the first case is equal to twenty-five O number one over two comma twenty-four O number one over two then S comma Y from the second case is equal to twenty-seven over two comma twenty-three over two and s comma y from the third case is equal to fifteen over two comma five over two and if you look at this the first case second case and third case you can see that all these are non natural number so therefore since there is no any natural number in this solution we conclude that there is no solution no solution i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye